Newly obtained video by CNN shows haunting images of Ronald Green's last moments while in custody of Louisiana State Police in May of 2019. The video shows what appears to be a supervising officer arriving on scene, engaging with responding officers while Green remains cuffed on the ground, face down. Oh After an early video shows him being beaten and tased, police claiming Green had resisted arrest after attempting to pull him over. Don't you turn over. You lay, that, lay on your belly. Lay on your belly. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Now lay on your belly. Okay, yes, sir. Don't you tell you understand? Yes, sir. In the video, we hear Green in distress as he continues to be restrained by officers. I was going to sit him up, but I didn't want to spit blood all over. Minutes after the supervisor engages with officers, medical aid is rendered by emergency personnel on site for the first time. Green appears to be unresponsive. Yeah, he's three of them to take him down, so you need to consider that. Yeah. With a car visible in the new body cam footage shows Green's vehicle that sustained damage. Lee Merritt, attorney for the Green family, says the state police response was outrageous. This was a supervisor who showed up to the scene. He didn't even he didn't even acknowledge Ronald right on the ground. Green's family says they were originally told the cause of death was a car crash following a high speed pursuit. Yeah, this has been a cover up from the very moment it happened. My son wasn't meant to walk away from that. He was purposely killed. He was murdered. But state officials tell CNN that Louisiana State Police were investigating Ronald Green's death as a criminal matter the same night of the incident. Two officers involved in the incident were reprimanded for their actions. A third officer died in a single car crash last year. An autopsy report obtained by CNN lists the cause of death as cocaine-induced agitated delirium complicated by motor vehicle collision, physical struggle, inflicted head injury, and restraint. No written incident reports were provided to the medical examiner despite requests. No medical records were provided. Neither was detailed information about the car crash. Uh. They were left in the dark. Uh, they were stonewalled uh, by, by the state police, which again is another policy that shows how systemic is, this is. The report also states that lacerations on Green's head were inconsistent with the motor vehicle collision injury and most consistent with multiple impacts from a blunt object. Yeah, it's called a boot. <laughs> it's called a uh, steel tip boot. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, we're back. We're back. And uh, wow, uh, that was a great staycation. I uh, have never really experienced a staycation before. You know, I always go somewhere and uh, we can't really go anywhere. So we uh, had a staycation. And of course, um, Loretta had a sty. <laughs> Wait, I'll alert the media. Oh, I am the media. I have a sty. You have to come over. Okay, so uh, that's how it started. And then I um, was sitting in my house and uh, these random sign-ins from Sling TV, just random, all over the country. People are just signing into my Sling account, signing into my, like one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. So, you know, you go on the uh, customer service chat and you say, somebody is signing into my account over and over and over and over again. Look, they're doing it now while I'm chatting with you. No, nobody's signing into your account. They're signing into my, I just, ding, ding, ding. Here's my email, here's my email. Uh, could you please send all those emails to the verification, uh, you know, uh, email? It's, it, it, there's 23 of them. Yeah, send them all. <laughs> and then fighting with YouTube, just constantly fighting with YouTube because in January, oh, this is crazy, in January, YouTube flagged one of our videos. I think some of you remember that because you were really freaked out. I was freaked out. What did we do? Oh, my God. We don't play any copyrighted material. Do you know, what is the deal? Uh, and I appealed it, right? That's what you're supposed to do. And it just sits there for, like, all through January, all through February, all through March, all through April. Now I'm on vacation. Staycation, you know. So I decide, you know what, I'm going to get rid of this thing. Uh, I'm going to get it resolved once and for all. So uh, if you have a certain amount of views on your YouTube channel, guess what you qualify for, everybody? Guess what? Customer service chats. Jesus. Just like with Sling. They're not signing into your account. Ding, 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 ding. Right. Okay. So you go on and you uh, have this chat with a person named Maine and... You don't know where or when or what or you, you know, what are your pronouns? I don't know. So anyway, I'm talking to Maine 
And Maine says, I said to Maine, we're having an, a problem publishing to the channel. She said, There's no problem on our end, just like Sling. Ding, ding, ding. No problem on our end. Really? Nope. All right, so that's good. I'm going to try and publish something now. And while I have you, I need to talk to you about this January 12th video that is just sitting there in like a nether region of the YouTube dashboard. Well, what's going on there? Well, you flagged me and and gave me a strike. Like, uh, I don't know, all of a sudden I'm a, I'm a Yankee. I'm at the bat. It's Casey at the bat. And uh, you struck me out or something like this. Um, oh, well, let me look at it. Oh, I see you appealed it. Yeah, five months ago. Well, now I have to escalate it. We have to escalate it. Is there an escalator? No, and I'm going to have to get back to you. And they literally stopped us from publishing anything on that channel the whole time we were on vacation, the whole time. I still can't publish anything on the channel. We found a way to go live. Just saying but can't publish anything, uh, you know, according to that. I mean, this is just so, okay, so finally yesterday, I get an email from somebody who's taking over for Maine, still don't know the pronoun, and his name's Jeff, so I sort of kind of know the pronoun. So Jeff says, oh, that January 12th thing? My bad. Yeah, we should have. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't have done that to you. Uh, that was just. Uh, it was an error. Our, um, you know, artificial intelligence, which is, you know, what I'm finding. There's a lot more of in this country. Artificial uh, intelligence. I, I don't, we don't know what it did, but it was wrong. We apologize, but you still can't publish now because now that you called on May 13th to to to, to say why you couldn't publish, to ask why you couldn't publish that day. So now we're investigating that. And uh, you got to wait seven more days. What? How could you do this to a business, I say? Sorry, you'll understand. <laughs> I don't understand. So now uh, I, I, I mosey on over to another website. You, you ever go to this place called Nextdoor? I don't know if you, you probably have it. It's like uh, Reddit for your neighborhood. It's like Reddit for the hood is what it is. And you want to talk artificial intelligence. Oh my God, do not get to know your neighbors. You will be freaked out at how stupid they are. You will be freaked the F out. Okay. So I go on next door because I'm looking for a tree service. Swear to God, I'm looking for a tree service. I need a recommendation for a tree service. And all of a sudden I see, you know, like a, a category called flag, blue lives matter. I'm like, what? So I wander on over there. What's going on there? Turns out some of my fascist neighbors want to, you know, and the, these, these are communities that are governed by homeowners associations, okay? This is not your free range house, okay? This is, uh, these are all, and, and they combine hoods. So you got all the hoods in the area that are all gated communities and they're all governed by homeowners associations, okay? And apparently an old man wants to fly a Blue Lives Matter flag and the homeowners association flagged him and told him, take it down. The only flags that are allowed are American flags, US flags. He gets into it about how this is a US flag. This is an America. So I say, you know, the American flag is not black and blue. Just not. And you should check your homeowners association documents and find out that, uh, you know, you're allowed to fly an American flag. God love you. You can. But uh, you can't fly like a political flag. And they do that to keep the peace in this neighborhood because that flag could be divisive. Well... <laughs> Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.